went to the movie theater. Oh, let's see. Trap, the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. Oh, that one looks really good. The first half was pretty good. It's almost like a reverse Die Hard in a way. The protagonist is a serial killer who goes to a concert with his daughter. He, he takes, takes her to this concert about this artist that she's obsessed with and, and you know, just, just dad things. And, right, right. And finds out that the FBI figured out he was going there and are trying to trap him in, like, in the venue where the, the concert's happening. And he's trying to figure out how to get out without getting checked by the police. Oh, my God. And his daughter is clueless, right? She his daughter know. is clueless. And the best part of the movie, like, without question for me, was their relationship. Because he's such a goofy, out-of-touch dad that, that cares about her and she loves him and their relationship sold the movie for me. The actor did a fabulous job of playing both the goofy dad and the serial killer. Like, both parts of that character made sense and worked and felt felt great. I, I loved his performance. Is like, Shyamalan's style kind of worked for a serial killer. Kind of idiosyncratic. You know, the way, he, way actors are, the, sometimes in his movies don't say lines quite they, they say I'm off. It, it works right, with him right, right. really well because he is off, but right. he's also kind of charismatic. Like you, you like him. You're like, <laughs> are you are you rooting for the serial killer? You kind of are, which is hilarious. Like you kind of want him to escape. Part of you does. It, oh my god. So it's 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 fun and like the relationship with his daughter. Like you 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 buy it and you care about it. it works and you know it's his him trying to understand like her lingo and him. Uh, connecting with her and him trying to make this a good time for her, but also and like also him talking to her, like parents of other kids who who like have excluded her and like trying to do parent things. Like it's very right, right. mundane, like a lot of it. But on the top of it, there's just this growing suspense of like, okay, there's the police there and him trying to figure it out and him trying to skirt the system and do this and and him being very clever about it. It's it, that part of the movie was was really fun. I loved that part of the movie. The second half, I enjoyed, but went on way too long. Like, it did not know how to end. It had too many climaxes. Like, the climax sort of happened, and then it keeps going, and it, like, tries for another climax. I'm like, wh why are we still going? Like, what, what, right, end right, the movie. Right. It also had too many... Not quite like the, the Return of the King ending, right? <laughs> it keep going, keep going. Yeah, a little, a little bit. A different tone, though. Uh, right, right. He had too many rivals. Like, it didn't know, it kept pitting him up against people and like, well, okay, what is this about? Is it against him and this profiler who's the one who, who's like trapping him? They kind of set that up, but then no, suddenly it's, the climax is about him and the singer of the concert. And then, and then, then it's like him and his wife. Like, well, like, who is like the, the other half of this story? Well, the, the only relationship you care about is him and his daughter. And like, right, she's right. kind of gone for the climax. Sort of. Like, it, she's kind of just absent from that part of the story, but she's really the only human connection we care about with him. Right, so it right. kind of didn't... I don't think it worked. Also, the singer, like, she was a great singer, and I, like, basically the whole movie is her concert, by the way. It's just the concert, and then, like, things are happening around it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if she's an actual, like musician uh, the concert was cool it looked like a cool concert that they went to <laughs> but the thing is she's i think the actress who played her is m night Shyamalan's niece oh okay so um like she was fine but like the parts where there are certain parts that did not work that she did not really sell right she, right, she right. wasn't she wasn't quite at the caliber she needed to be to sell certain things that they had her do um, and some oh, dialogue man. was just, some dialogue was just silly, but that's, that's M. Night Shyamalan for you, where it's just, right, right. And they're like, right. like, what? Like, they're trying to do some, some, you know, FBI profiler mumbo jumbo, uh, right, right. but it's not done very well. This, this isn't Silence of the Lambs. This isn't Criminal Minds. <laughs> this is very base level, kindergartner level of profiling going right. on here. I mean, they should, some, should have done some more profiler homework before they did that <laughs> no, scene. No, they should, honestly... They should have downplayed the profiler angle because they 
it didn't it was really irrelevant to the story like they focused way too much on his relationship with like his mother or like, like that doesn't matter why do we need to know that i just why i guess they're trying to give you more sympathy no 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 it's not about sympathy it's it, it, oh, it actually no? comes okay. into play in the story it's just it i don't i think it's kind of silly the way it comes in the story it's silly got it it's silly there's a lot of goofy things in it some of that silliness is intentional and the audience laughs with the movie uh Uh, like stuff like it's actually rather funny uh they there's there's plenty of times when the the audience laughed and it was intentional but there was also times we were laughing at the movie you know (laughs) or it's it's not supposed to be funny but like there's this part where you see the camera footage of him kidnapping some person and it's it was goofy like people started laughing and i'm so it's clear that was not the intention (laughs) that's a bad sign people are supposed to be screaming and tearing everybody's giggling uh you'd like it i think i think you'd really enjoy it 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 had it was fun well, ever since we moved 30 minutes away from a movie theater, <laughs> we just don't go out that much. No, we really so, don't. So. You'll, you'll watch it eventually, I think. But it's possibly his best movie in 20 years. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's not so th- I, I probably should go see it. Well, I okay, mean, okay. I mean, that's M. M. Night Shyamalan has a has track record is is, is you know shaky. But, yeah, but you gotta admire his determination. You know, he he keeps like oh, charging up that hill, and if it doesn't work, he goes, "Oh well, next." Yeah, I do. I do respect that. I respect yeah. it a lot. Yeah, failure does not get that man down. No, it? it really doesn't. Okay, honey. Well, it was lovely talking to you, and I'm glad you had a good time. I did have a good time. Okay. Well, you have a great night and tell everybody I said hey. Yeah, I'll tell them. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you. Love you too.